Hey guys, so today I'm back again with another video with this Lenovo K5 Plus. You wanna know why? Because today I'm gonna show you guys ACIP ROM based on Android 8.0 Oreo or the ODOC. Alright? So finally we got Android 8.0 Oreo on this phone, but it's not poorly baked yet. Now we'll walk through you guys. Alright, so first things first here. We're gonna install it, alright? So we're gonna go to Twerp here. Okay, we on Twerp. Make sure to do a backup here, alright? Because this ROM is not great. Alright, so make sure you just get this ROM just for play around, right? So we're gonna go wipe, advanced wipe, dynamic system, data and the cache. Just swipe that away. Okay. Now I do have it the uh, ROM here on this uh, OTG flash drive, so let me just plug that. Okay, so go back here, go mount, mount the OTG, click install, let's go to the uh, OTG drive, let's go to the ACIP ROM here, let's flash that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so the ROM has been installed, so I'm gonna walk through you guys what's new and what's changed in Android 8.0 Oreo, alright? And also the, the performance I think on the K5 Plus, what's the bug of this ROM and all those, yada yada yada, right? So the first thing that's new is the new notification panels. You can see there, everything is now wide versus like the lollipop or nougat. It's like this gray area right here. You scroll down, you can see the users, the edit button, and the settings now are on the bottom versus like the nougat. You can see there is it on the top right there, right? So there's a little bit change, and of course you can now expand or they are much expanding notifications. I don't know how to say it about that. And also of course, you can add the uh, toggles right there. There's some extras about the ROM so you can quickly can adjust the settings for the status bar. You can show the Bluetooth battery status. Notifications, well, I don't know what's empty, probably a bug. You can also change the recent screen probably to OmniJaws, but it doesn't show anything at the moment. So yeah, probably this thing have to, you know, work work around more and uh, extensions animations and all those this thing you can see there this is the bug here you can see there i tap on something and still just leave on blank so this is probably some more stuff that the developer have to work now let's jump to settings here and there's another thing new in settings you can see there settings now has been completely reorganized so it's more tidier and more and like everything is out more in the place versus like in uh, nougat here and like everything like they are just basically like spread out like that you can see there we do get more stuff to scroll in nougat versus in oreo they're just more simplified so if you guys want to know how to go to the bad phone you know if you guys got a new phone and you go if you guys just install this rom and you gotta prove to your friends you got android oreo this is the bad phone so you gotta go to the system and the bad phone here it is you can see there 8.0 oreo or odoc so there's the uh, famous oreo logo Let's tap and hold that and we got the uh, octopus, 
there we go octopus octopus all right so here's, here's the octopus right there you can see there we can play around with it very very nice you can see there a 620 a46 there you go 8.0.0 with the acip version let's see there the acip oreo version 8.0 all right, and the next thing that's new is a notification. Now I'm gonna show you guys just briefly like some new features that you guys will be seeing, not first like under the hood. So example here, this is the brand new things, notifications, right? Now you got notifications dot. So this is what notifications dot looks like. You can see that the YouTube go. you got the number there. Now in Oreo, you just basically got a dot. So those you guys don't, you guys do not have a specific number of how many unread notifications. So you guys, and disable or enable that and so we get more better app notifications so for example here in Chrome oh I haven't opened it so I have to open Chrome here hold on so so I can show you guys the settings so let's set up Chrome for a moment okay Chrome has been set up and there we go alright so in per app notification I can disable specific thing that the app do like I can control the notifications. So say for example here, I want a notification every time I download something, but I don't want any notifications when I enable Incognito. So let's just go here. So example, when I go to Incognito here, you will see notification right on the top there. It says like Incognito mode, right? So you can see there, there's a little uh, there's a glassy guy right there. You can see there the Incognito notifications. Now if I disable that. So disable incognito. Where is it? There we go. You can see there. I have the incognito mode, and I, but I do not have the uh, incognito notification right here. So basically, kind of like that, right? So you get more control in your of your notifications, which is very cool. Now the next thing that's new is picture and picture. This is the big feature in Android Oreo. So basically, you, what you has to do here is you can use the YouTube app, but unfortunately, if you use the YouTube app, you need to have YouTube Red. But if you want, if you want a little workaround, picture and picture also work in Chrome and YouTube. But you guys will see here that if I go to the normal YouTube here, that it will not work. All right, so let me go to my friend's YouTube channel here, so I don't get any copyright video. Okay, so example here, here is normal YouTube mode in mobile, right? So if I go home here, it just kills the video like normally it did, right? So you need to go to the desktop view, right? So what you gotta do here is let me just go in here, request desktop side. Okay, now we'll use the HTML5, I think. The new, the new HTML5 player by YouTube. Right? So let me play the video. Play the video. Play it. Play, please. Oh. Okay, now once the video is played, you guys basically have to go to full screen. I'm on HD apparently, so great, my data is gone. All right, so the video is full screen. Now, once I press the home button, there we go. Picture and picture is initiated. Now, for some reason, you guys cannot pinch the video, so you guys can't make the video bigger or smaller. We're just gonna, I don't know, it's kind of sad. I wish I could make the video bigger. Also, you know, you can example browse Instagram when watching a YouTube video. You can scroll here. Let me get more volume on that. There we go. I can scroll down and watch YouTube video while scrolling Instagram, you know, browse some peoples and all that. And if you guys don't really want, don't really want to watch the video anymore or the video is in, you just can hold the video and drag it down here to dismiss it. There we go. Okay, so that's a very, very nice feature. Okay, so there it is, picture in picture. Now again, this will work with some apps for the moment. It's now, for now, it's only working on YouTube again. If you need, if you have YouTube Red and Chrome, if you have, if you have, like you have to, like you need to go to the desktop side of YouTube to enable the picture in picture mode, okay? Okay, so once you initiate the uh, picture in picture mode, you can actually tap on the video to make it back to full screen so you want, you want to focus back on the video you can do that or you can also go here and press pause so if you guys have something to pause it just pause that immediately you can do that immediately or you can press the x here to dismiss the video as well this new here is when every time you play music here you will get a nice little uh, 
uh, style here in the notification send notification bar so you can see there you get the album art right there and we got the tags and me and all that so you can just next here you can see there it admittedly added uh, admittedly add up to the tags to, again we got a little fade in of the uh, album art so you're just gonna scroll to you guys there if you look at that that looks pretty, pretty amazing let me scroll down to some of the days to give you guys more effect of that I mean look at that there's a look pretty nice I mean look at that that looks that looks pretty good okay pretty pretty nice you can see there the text immediately adapt to what is the most color in the album art so that's pretty pretty cool another thing that's new in Android 8.0 is the new emoji so let me go to here in the comment section go to the emojis there you can see there the brand new Android 8.0 emoji so here is the old emoji which is the new emoji you can see there I don't like this emoji at all. I mean, it is a weird blob versus the Android 8.0 Oreo. It's more realistic. It's much better. And for some reason, the screen is so dark. Let me bring that up for you guys. Okay, there you go. More differences. In fact, let me give you guys a close up. Can I do that? Okay, there you go. A quick little close up of the differences on the emojis. And also with the new Unicode, I think it's a 8.0, I think, or maybe 9.0, they added some more new emojis, so can they keep up with the iPhone emojis? In fact, the 10, the iOS 11.1 beta 2 already have Unicode 10, not only Unicode 10, or Unicode 11, with brand new, more brand new emojis. So 8.0 already has an obsolete, an obsolete emojis. That's amazing. Okay, so now let me explain why you should not install this ROM. It's just the faulty problem, right? So I know for the people that live in in in, in India, right? For the people in India, shout out to the Indian squad. Uh, you guys love faulty so much, right? Free calling over internet. We know, we know that, alright. But unfortunately, this ROM is not supporting faulty yet. Faulty is broken down, and the next thing is broken down is the camera, right? So you see, there's something weird to the camera. Right? So let me. Do this little thing here okay i don't know if i guess they noticed there let me just drop down the brightness here all right you can see there you get a little blue tint on the camera right so now watch once i take a picture let me just drown it to the table here so you guys can see a color difference boom the color temperature immediately change now that's some this is just so interesting now the next thing that's just gonna be i know it's gonna be bugging guys down is the video right so the video camera it doesn't work right so i'm just gonna record a video here testing 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 lg g6 testing testing and testing testing you'll have a beautiful wife stop the video oh where's the video where is the video the video is gone all right so the, basically the video that you guys recorded will not save now you guys probably think oh it might be the storage problem okay you guys might be thinking it's the storage problem well we this is the google camera so it doesn't have this uh, fancy dancy features it might be might be working using third-party cameras app though like probably like our camera app but for stock camera it does not work all right now another thing that's not working is the music player so let me trim down the brightness again here let me trim down the brightness again go to the music player once i play music here okay we'll play but for some reason music from the sd card will not play so now i have a i have a random sd card here that doesn't have music but if you have music from the sd card it will not play all right guys so that's a quick little hands-on on the ecip Android 8.0 Oreo on the Lenovo K5 Plus, 3 gigs of RAM version. Now, if you guys can live with the bug, install it. But I suggest you guys just install this ROM to play around. You know, because of the faulty bug and the video recording is not saved properly. But overall, performance, it's great. But oh yeah, go to the bug on the bug on the music player too. So maybe you guys can deal with the uh, saving just your music on the internal storage. It may be work. All right. So in fact. We got some audios here in the building. Let me let me do the silhouette. All right, so there's the silhouette right there. Thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, peace out. Now uh, I'm gonna eat some Oreo. This is not a vanilla Oreo, but uh, it's an Oreo. All right, peace out.